To begin, I would like to share a few quick updates on the levitating rotor experiments. So far, I've tested both electrostatic and electromagnetic rotors. In the electromagnetic configuration, I was able to levitate four quarter-inch size neodymium magnets. Even my most sensitive reed switch functioned without interference when placed between the upper and lower magnets. I've now started designing a new Easy Spin style motor using this as the bearing system. Parts are already starting to arrive and I'm looking forward to building this levitating Easy Spin style motor. It's going to be a really fun project. I've had some requests that I create a Patreon page and I really appreciate the folks that want to support the videos in that way. I've decided to post real-time project updates to Patreon. And of course, all of the information will show up in the final videos here on this channel later. Okay, on this video I'd like to talk about teachers, uh, specifically art teachers. For as long as I can remember, I have loved to create things, to do drawing, painting, crafting, making stuff. Uh, it's just been a big part of my life. I'm a technical artist by trade, and uh, some of the folks who have had a huge impact in my life and the trajectory that I've gone on in my life are artists and art teachers. So in the early 90s, in my early teens, I was doing a lot of sketches and drawings of ideas and inventions and just artwork and really loving it. But then I took art lessons uh, from a lady named Nancy Myers. She was an amazing artist and she taught me a uh, graphite pencil technique. And uh, I spent 80 hours on this uh, squirrel drawing and loved every moment of it. And uh, really appreciated the foundation, uh, the level of patience that she taught me and perseverance. It's really paid off in my life and uh, she was just a great teacher. So during the same time period, early 90s through 1995, I was starting to do 3D graphics on the computer. I started in DOS on a program called Imagine. Later I moved on to TrueSpace, I used Maya, 3D Studio Max, I've used all the major packages uh, down through the years. Really loved doing 3D art, but I always had a desire to get a pencil back in my hands again. So a while back, I found myself stuck in an AT&T store, and while sitting there looking for something to do, I started playing with their iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. And I've used Wacom tablets in the past, but this Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro and the app called Procreate was just exceptional. So after a few minutes there in the AT&T store, I had this really funny little duck on the screen. I was just having a blast working with color. The Apple Pencil uh, had excellent sensitivity, pressure sensitivity, everything I needed. So I realized that with this very simple setup, I had a complete art kit with tons of uh, brushes and pencils and colors and no mess, <laughs> which is really what I need. If I'm going to do this type of time consuming art, I need something that's always at an arm's reach that I can pick up in just some random moment and do a little work, you know, when I'm flying on the plane, if I'm trying to fall asleep at night. And uh, this has enabled me to do that. And I am just having so much fun uh, doing art uh, with this setup. I quickly realized that if I was going to get better at this, I needed to find a good teacher. And of course, in this day and age, the first place I went was to YouTube. And I came across the YouTube channel of James Euler's Art Tutorials. So James has no idea I'm making this video, but if you happen to watch this, James, thank you so much. Excellent tutorials, uh, just excellent stuff. So James is basically a modern day Bob Ross with an iPad and an Apple Pencil, and he has so many excellent tutorials. And I followed his uh, quite a few of his tutorials, and it vastly improved uh, the quality of the work that I was doing on the uh, iPad. I'll put a link to James's YouTube channel uh, in the video description, so if you're interested in art and want to learn how to do something like this, definitely check out his YouTube channel. After completing a bunch of James's YouTube tutorials, I was ready to start working on some images of my own. I started applying the techniques I learned from James's tutorials on this image of a sunset over a lake. The reference photograph came from Pixel Bay. I put it down as the first layer so that I could check it as needed against my own drawing. It took me about 15 hours to finish this painting, and it was usually just five minutes here, 10 minutes there. Very rare that I ever got in any long stretch of time to work on this. But that's the beauty of the iPad with the Apple Pencil. I can just pull it out at a moment's notice. You know, those little bits of time when normally I would scroll through Facebook or, you know, just waste a little time can be spent uh, doing something productive like this. So I must have been feeling pretty confident because for my next image, I chose to do this little highly detailed hummingbird. 
And uh, I think if I had known going into this how long and how detailed uh, this little thing was going to be, maybe I would have chose something else. But uh, again, it was a fun process and I learned a lot. So I have over 40 hours in on this guy. I started on him uh, before Christmas of last year. And again, just five minutes here, 10 minutes there. But uh, over that time, you know, I eventually got this, uh, this little guy finished. And uh, just, a, again, a very fulfilling process. Uh, thanks, James, for those great tutorials. I'll continue to learn, you know, and continue to do this uh, in those spare moments. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I'll go ahead and just uh, let the video play out here as I uh, finish up this little hummingbird. I'll go ahead and put uh, links uh, to these images if you're interested in things like that. You can uh, download these images, have a look. Maybe it'll inspire you uh, to pick up a pencil or you know an iPad if you have one and uh, do some art. Look for good teachers uh, in your life. They make such a difference. All right, folks. Let's all keep experimenting. Talk later. Bye.